Welcome in, everybody, to Goblets and Warlots, episode 35 of Dragonlance. We should go a little bit longer tonight because I do not have to work in the morning. And um, so we should have fun. Uh, we will not have DVD, the person who plays uh, the other CL, Neris. Uh, he has some projects or something for classes he has to do, so he will not be here tonight. Um, but we're back with our uh, rest of our cast, which we have, first off, uh, Cleansing Rain. Hi, my name is Cleansing Rain. You can call, just call me Rain if you like. Playing Dashjin Yenvery for, I don't know, the... 40th the 35th consecutive episode i probably wasn't in at the very beginning but uh <laughs> getting getting back into my favorite character so uh excited to be here and looking forward to it finding out what all mysteries lie within the depths of heart hollow very nice uh shout out to cleansing rain right there so go check him out uh we now have nihilish Hello, hello, I'm Nilish. Um been here since the start. Uh <laughs> um just playing your friendly kinder paladin over here. Nope. Can you pop up there we go? Oh. Ah, there's knowledge. She is also a streamer as well. We do have Bookworm. Hello everyone, I'm Bookworm. Um, I play the Kender Cleric, um, and yeah, that is what I do. I've also been here since the beginning and super excited to jump back in, um, and into this campaign. Super excited. Alrighty. And then we have Sendow. Hello, I am Sendo playing the human fighter Elosin, and this is my second night game with this campaign so i'm the newbie here the second episode and he is the one that requested this campaign and never joined from the beginning <laughs> but he's just not making it around uh just tuning in this is got some more lots we are primarily a DD stream you also can catch me from time to time 3d printing or painting on stream as well um uh, i just moved to night so you might be seeing a lot of late night streams uh when i'm not doing anything uh, if you're just watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part is. And if you're just uh, uh, watching live now, exclamation point YouTube, head on over to our YouTube and give us a like and follow for any episodes. Uh, charity stream is coming up in October. It'll be alternating Wednesdays and Tuesdays. Uh, we, you can catch Nihilus and Cleansing Rain here that's in this game for that, for their characters that are coming in. So... That should be a fun one. Um, let's see. We'll be back Sunday night for Order of the Goblet. And that uh, they open up and in some combat. Last Sunday, I was I had a migraine. I was very, very not. I was very angry, to be honest, after a shift. So I did not want to put that on stream. So we'll be back tonight for that. If you're not a member of Discord, exclamation point Discord to join our Discord. It's a wonderful little community. We do giveaways from time to time. Uh, Weasel, that's in the Discord, is, is monthly uh, scavenger hunt games type deal. So you should tune in for that stuff. So that being said, Nihilish rolled the lowest again for recap. So she'll be doing recap tonight. And uh, let's uh, dive in, shall we? Waiting in the dark 
Almost messed up. We were still muted. Uh, welcome back. Uh, Vera, would you like to lead us into tonight's episode? Last time on Dragonlance, uh, we began at the um, army camp that we had headed toward, um, where Derek, Kudrel, and Levna and the rest of our compatriots were at. Um, we were headed to Heart's Hollow after that, but before we left, uh, uh, two of our companions decided um, to accompany Kudrel and the remains of, of Balram back to his tribe. So we said our goodbyes to uh, Siri and Ziggy and met a few other compatriots, I guess, that kind of got, you know, shoved on us. Uh, Levna was coming, of course, but we met her, her squire, who um, we'll see how useful he is later. At the moment, he can't even remember to pick up a bag. Um, and then we were shoved another sea elf by um, the, the elves we had saved before. I'm not exactly sure why they, I, I guess uh, we, we rescued their people, but we apparently didn't do well enough that they think we need even more help? I don't know. They gave us another elf who keeps saying I might what do you say? I was angry or fiery? I can't remember. Um I I don't like it. Uh but we headed to Hard Hollow after that. Uh Clystron and Kenna showing us away. Um and then having a little hissy fit when I didn't want to pick up a rock from one pile and put the rock into another pile, which seemed to be some kind of um custom they do when they go into her tallow. I'm not exactly sure why. It's a little hole-in-the-ground town that's supposedly um, secretive and lost to anyone here. You're not supposed to know about it, but I think a hole in the waste would be really easy to spot. Uh, anyway, uh, Kenna immediately disappeared when we got to the town. Just poof! Um, and uh, Clystron led us to Bar. Salt if you lake. want to call it a bar. Yeah. If you want to call it a bar, it, it was a room suspended in the air. I Only dwarves, I guess, would make a tavern and then have ropes tied to it and let it suspend in air above a hole in the ground. Uh, we went in there. We met the, the mayor, Ness. Um, or rather, Mela and myself did, as we kept on point to task, where the rest of our crew kind of wandered off, uh, singing with, uh, Dashin and, uh, Ellison and, um, uh, Levna getting some drinks. I don't know what the, that other elf was doing. I, I've, I've already forgotten. Just hanging in the background. He's huge. Fucking huge towering over there. I, I don't know how he got into the tavern to begin with, considering this place is for dwarves and kinder, mostly. Um, but we met Ness, uh, who was strangely very interested in a dragon egg that I did not bring up on purpose and then tried to steer the conversation away from just because it was weird for some random mayor in a secret town to... Hi, dog. Why are you knocking my table over? <laughs> it was strange for her to only... She she didn't seem as interested that we had brought her, her two people back safely. Or if any more of her people were hidden, she was more worried about this damn egg. And then Dustin had to start singing about the egg over there in the corner. Right after I'd calmed her fears to shut her up about the egg. But yeah, so um, she seems very flustered and angry about this egg she 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 wants to come talk to us alone now which is where we headed off i told levna to stay back and if we you know um she doesn't hear back from us in like 15 10 minutes to go get the rest of the army because this is weird that did, did i tell you that ness was talking in all of our heads at the same time I, what is this mayor anyway yeah yeah that's what happened last time Uh, 
Uh, as y'all, and that's where I pick up. Let's put it at a different time. As you head deeper, you pass lavenders on the left as you're heading more down on these colored rots heading deeper into Hot Hollow. She starts leading you through some tunnels. You can have a chance to talk amongst yourselves if you like. It, is it normal for this group to follow strangers into unknown Not territories? Yeah, 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 apparently it is. We, we do it all the time. Mm -hmm. You don't get to become the fearless few it's... with being afraid of doing things. Exactly, it's in the name. Fearless she should be probably more worried that there are so many of us and one of her. I would like to test the acoustics of the tunnel and, uh, <laughs> you know, like strum my guitar and let out a pretty loud, just a, you know, my oh yeah, to see and how. How echoey it is? Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> echoey. You hear in your head, Dastion. Careful, I do not want them cracked. Oh, yeah! Sorry, couldn't resist. <laughs> she was offended the last time you sang. That's why we're going to this nondescript place. Ver Stop Ver singing. You're in your head. I wasn't offended, I was intrigued. Stop doing that. Are your lips just decoration? Just just talk through your mouth. She's in front of you walking down. You're following her. I know. I'm just creeped out when someone's talking in my head. Is that also something that happens with you guys? Just, you know, people or voices pop into your head a lot? Is that... Is that normal for, you know, a uh, a, uh, a hopeful night in this in this order? You just get exposed to these kind of strange happenings. Just prepare for everything. I point everything. my finger at him, but turn away from him and say, "If you want it to," so that I cast message and continue to speak in his head. Power someone learns. I just look around trying to find the source of the voice. You hear the direction it comes from, right? What what's y'all's march actually give me this. That's good What's y'all's marching order following me behind? I I'm following behind Vera because I have to take orders from her now. <laughs> I would assume I'm basically the front of the line. Not a care in the world. Yeah, I assumed he was in the front and I was behind him. I'll be the tail, I guess. Uh, do I notice that our other elf friend is still with us? He hasn't said anything in a while. As you turn back and look back, he is no longer with you guys. Just like Ishvin, to give us someone who's out to seek their own benefit instead of ours. But I suppose I was in that very same boat not too very long ago, so shan't pass any judgments here. Do we do we try to find him or do we do we carry on? Dear, uh, what do you think? Um just Go in with it for now. All right. All right. Venture forth, I guess. How much further is it, Miss Ness? Oh, it's not too much further now. Because I'm trying to find something right now. What? Where, where are we going again? I may have missed it with the no, you, many you voices that appeared. She, she, she didn't say. She just wanted us away 
from prying eyes, I guess. Hmm. I see. So, uh, Miss Mayor, where, where, where are you taking us again? Be patient, my child. Okay. Well, I'm... Are you gifted what? in magics, uh, kid? Me? Uh, mm, not not the traditional sense of magic. Um, you know, I've been trained in the the art of the sword and the bow and lance, but. Uh, no, I, I have not been gifted any mystical or godly powers. All right. I would ready your sword then, just in case. Do all of, are all of you magical? A touch of something like that. Uh. I don't know about the other elf. Perhaps the gods do exist, then. I can assure you they do exist. I shared your skepticism minus but a week ago, and my opinion has indeed changed a full 180. I, I'd like a, a question in that. Uh, who, who are we fighting, exactly? Is it not the, the dragon army? And who are they behind? I mean... Yes, I mean, there are rumors all, all about, but, you know. Everyone I've... keeps questioning the gods, but good and bad, we are clearly fighting one of the gods as it is. I don't know how they can keep questioning all the gods don't exist when uh, Tiamat obviously does. Or uh, what is she? Tachesis in this one. She's Tachesis. Is Ness uh, reacting at all when uh, we're talking about the Dragon Queen over here? I was reading something. What is that? What you saying about the Dragon Queen? Uh, that she exists. Since uh, people were questioning the, the gods exist. Good and bad. Uh, the bads do as well, including Takesis. You're hitting your head. Your answers will be answered soon enough. As you come out from these tunnels into this massive open. Uh, anybody want to give me a survival check? Any of us? Hey. Or, uh, who's proficient in survival? Let me ask oh. that. Not me. <laughs> I am. Mine is not terrible. But for fishing, are you like kept a circle? Yep, full dot, plus four. I'm the same. Mela? I'm not proficient. No. So I'll allow Dashin and Vera to roll survival checks. Ooh. Ooh. That's yeah, 20. 20. Go ahead, Dash. What about you, Vera? What'd I you got get? a 17 total. Uh, you know enough, Vera. You've been around long enough to know this is some type of pit or something. Dashin, your eyes cannot escape. As you see tracks, the size of dinosaurs, like for your knowledge, but those massive tracks. And you, Mela, what's your passive perception? Uh, 16. 16. As Vera and Dashin, you're looking like you see these tracks. Or Dashin, you see these tracks. Vera, you, you definitely tell us a pit from some kind. You're not sure. Mela, you look over. You see roughly... Four dragon heads. You see a silver. You see a gold. You see a copper. 
you see a brass dragon gets sitting in each thing. There's one more, like, I don't want, <sighs> makeshift nest area. I'll say they makeshift nests, and you see one that's empty. She turns around to you. Welcome to my Leia. As you start to see her morph, her face comes elongated. Teeth start appearing. Her whole body shifts to this enormous gargantuan size. Not gargantuan. Uh, uh, basically into uh, Dashin and Vera. Actually, even because everybody's from this world. You're probably read up on them with your studies of the northern west you see this adult bronze dragon appear in front of you at least you didn't try to hit that welcome to my Leia. I have lived a very long time to keep these people here safe and I've been searching for lost dragon heads. There is one that I have not found. A very much, much like Brock Pack here, so it is not corrupted by the dragon armies. So they're not your eggs specifically? You're just trying to take all the ones the dragon army has? Been scouring these wastes for dragonets. The last one I was informed of was a bronze dragonet that was stolen from my nest years ago. That's the one I would like him back. So, if you have any idea. Where it would be at, or it can go get it for me. That would be wonderful. I assume the rest of the people in your town don't know what you are. That is correct. That is for their safety. That's why you walked us away from them. Okay. That is correct, young esteemed kinder girl. Bystrin would like this. <sighs> the egg was taken by a black dragon. Do you know where the black dragon went? It wouldn't matter if we did, considering he would have just flown to another place. She? He? Can't remember. I was kind of on the ground. Um, it, considering how much distance they can travel, it, it wouldn't matter if I knew which area it went to. It would just go to another one. Um, so there's only one more egg you know of that they have. You must find this egg and protect it with your life and bring it to me. You do not want it corrupted by the dragon armies. We we have no idea where where it's at, other than with that dragon. We do know where the army is headed, considering they're looking for the same thing we're looking for. What is that? Uh, as I told you uh, in the tavern, uh, the city of lost names. If we could beat them to it, with your help, maybe. Uh, maybe we could set a trap and get your egg back. I 
do not want to risk the lives of these people. Weaker people to... don't have to. Yes, but the dragon armies come here. I am their only defense. So... There has come a time in need, and you had the location. I will come help. But they don't want to go search endlessly and leave these people undefended. Well, and, these, and these four other eggs also still need protection as well. Yes. Now, I'm no expert on dragons, but... I kind of fathom that each of you are all very old, and is there any perhaps way that you might know who or what this black dragon is? Is he someone like you that can change humanoid? Let me go back and figure out what her name was. <laughs> All right. Uh, I do know the black dragon that you all know of. You, the only one I know of. And she my mom, or somehow I hit tyranny of dragons module. I was like, this is not my module that I'm supposed to be going off of. You stupid thing. Well, let me get to it. It's like, this is not the module. Why is this here? <laughs> uh, camp carrying blades where it should have appeared. Ooh. A Kaviri is her name. Actually, I think it is out A K H V I R I. What has come around that she is also looking for dragon heads to bring back to somebody and I don't know who that is. If she has it, whoever it is tasked her with this might already have this egg. How much time can an egg be in the dragon army's possession before it has become corrupted? That I do not know. To know the inner words of the dragon army. Maybe they bring it forth by Takesis and she does it. And I raise my hand to the back. I slowly lower the hand. <laughs> yes. I don't know who you're raising a hand for. Is it raising to Vera or? Just in general to ask someone. Uh, you said you had the dra the eggs for years before and then it was stolen. How, how long do dragon eggs stay in egg form? Precisely however long it needs to. And how does one hatch a dragon egg? Ma'am? <laughs> Lord? They hatch when they mean to hatch. Oh. Okay. No more questions. I'll just... <laughs> you know... Diggy would have loved this, wouldn't he, Mila? What? P. Miss. 
sort of thing. Um, so you need to stay here to defend. I, I get that. Do you have, uh, if, if you can't come to help in our aid, uh, do you have a way perhaps to arm us? Um, or any other such aid? Such as potions? Uh, Lavender, he has some interesting things in his shop. That might can help. I'll instruct him to give you a discount. One last thing. Dashin wants to ride you. How much is that going to cost? And not in the way that you might be thinking. <laughs> No, I'm just teasing about that part. Did, wait, did you put it in chat somewhere? Wait, I'm trying to figure out where, why Vera said that. Was that put uh, somewhere? No, 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 it wasn't anywhere. I'm just uh. throwing Dutch in on the spot. Considering he was so pouty over the last person. You want to bite me? Yeah, he knows Featherfall. He'll be fine if he falls. He wants a ride. How about this? A bargaining grip. Bring back the egg and I'll give each and every one of you a ride if you like. One you cannot refuse. And she, her one eye, one of her eyes wink. Um, uh, that's one of your songs. <laughs> is there a... So we're in her lair. Uh, mm -hmm. One's basic knowledge of dragons would say that there's potentially a horde nearby. Um, would, I, would we be able to witness any areas that look like they may branch off into... Perhaps a treasure's room or a place where, a, you know, a golden loot might be yeah. stacked yeah. among a pile of treasure. I think you were told where your loot was at, I think. Weren't you? Uh, if you're talking about when Ness and I were talking in the bar, she had said she would help me get it in exchange for the, the egg. egg uh, as you're looking around... Uh, with your survival check, I'll give you that for free. Usually, dragons have a horde, but you get the feeling the horde is the Eds. And what you know of bronze dragons, they are lawful good. Uh, if there's any more questions. And she starts morphing down back to her middle age ver version of herself. What made and you think you could trust us other than us having helped with uh, Kenna and Slystrin? You just met us. I'm curious. You saved their lives. And this one right here that wants a ride put it in his song that you all found a bronze dragon egg. Mm. I wanted to know exactly what information that you would have without people in earshot of listening in. The less they know, the more protected they are. I 
could tell you weren't that hostile. Just when we met the other dragon, there was this wave of hostility. I don't really, I don't really feel it that often, but it felt like every. I know Ziggy immediately was afraid. Um, a lot of, but uh, you know, Kendra don't really feel that. But mm, I, I could feel it's attempt. You you don't have that same feeling about you. I mean, I forgotten to have y'all roll because <laughs> you know it's there. Let's for funsies see who would fail it. Give me a wisdom saving throw, guys. Ah, but Kinder already gets All of us? advantage. Yeah, you. you guys part, and then y'all have that legendary resistance pretty much for Kinder. Yeah. Wow. Even with advantage. Yikes. One of those would have been in that one. So but, you know, per plus, plus nine, seventeen. The only person that was really overcome with like, we'll play it what off like this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I imagine you more like, like what, like in your mind, just kind of like frozen stuff there for a second. But to play along with uh, what Vera's dialogue is, um, she. With the comforting, warm greeting, it kind of wished away from you. But your initial reaction is like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about that. Led to a creepy tunnel. Long, creepy tunnel. And yes, to answer your question, dear, and you, you're, you kinder kind are not easily frightened. I admire that about your species. Is that why you like dwarves too? You seem to be surrounded by kinder and dwarves. Eh, a couple humans, but you know. Is that why you cater to us more? We also have gnomes. It's just it's just whoever's in the waste finds our place for safekeeping. And we help as best way we can. Shall we? And she starts leading you back up. You can ask more no questions problem. on the way out, but is um the path down to the tunnels at the base of this crater, or is it like midway down? Uh, follow up question: What is at the base, like the very smack dab center? What would we see if we stared into the? You see blackness. It continues on for what you know. A long, long way down. You do not see a bottom from where you're standing. Uh, what's your survival check earlier? I would say you went down the tunnels very, very far. You're not sure where it bottoms out at, but there, when you got to the lair, there's more tunnels going in and out. More of her size going in and out. So you can probably make the distinction if she ever wanted to fly out of here, she might fly out from the void. As you come that back kind of up, thing doesn't happen often, by the way, uh, kid. We We don't meet dragons like that. I was just about to ask, like, you seem like a group that did not seem to be uh, very shocked by this revelation. So I didn't know if you see dragons often or you meet a lot of them. Oh. Like, you know, I've really just heard about them in stories, uh, seeing one right here. By the I'm way, just... mom's the word about my true fun. 
Got it? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Elf? I mean, it might make it into a lyric or two, but <laughs> not around if these parts. If you wish to ride the dragon, you will not. He'll agree for posterity, but a dragon named Ness, there's just too many easy rhymes with that. He's just not going <laughs> to let this go. Give a Did deception check. Name? Nope. Yep, indeed, not a word. I understand. Oh, Jesus Christ. She looks at you. Then let's over to the Aislinn. You agree? Mun's the word? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, I would never want to uh, go against the word of a, a mighty dragon. I, I just, I, I do, I do serve another. And I, I am sworn by my oath to protect her and inform her and I... I Surely she she's with our party. She helps us out. Like it would be it would be safe to to tell her, right? Yes. Just not inside the walls of Hot Hollow. Mum's the word, inside Hot Hollow, just like uh, my friend said. Very well. That goes for the other party member that you were with, which seemed to. Uh, scattered off probably getting drunk but uh you do have complimentary rooms at the salt lake uh to have a good night stay the whole rooms are on me and your food is on me and you get a nice little discount to lavenders lavenders as y'all she comes back up she shouts something over like telepathically the discount is now in place. And she keeps on walking. Right. Well, that was unexpected. So you're left to go about your business and what you want to do. As she heads back to the Salt Lake. She didn't know anything about the city, but... Dalimar called for us. He's got a clue. So that should be where we're heading next. Ah. Ah. Uh, Listen, you haven't met Dalimar yet, have you? I have not. Yeah. Another elf who's helping us. He's more in the magic sense. Oh. And he is friend, yes? Yes? Ally? Seem to be. More catering to his kind, but while we had his kind on our team before, um, we'll see how nice he is to us now. Okay, sure. So we'll probably need to pack up with more supplies before we leave again. <sighs> Please, something with a little more flavor than those beads of nourishment this time, Vera. Always fish. What did fish do to deserve to be dinner? They kind of flooded, you know, the waste repeatedly. I wonder if it ever rains here, as he looks up at the bowl shape of the crater that they're in. Hmm. 
Yeah, I wonder how, how much it fills when the, the water's high. But I suppose it looks deep enough down there that all the water probably is gone in a matter of no time. Hmm. Quite a peculiar place. Doesn't seem like it would be hidden then if all the water around here just sinks. When the water's high, it'd be the only thing dry. I gotta change my headset. Give me a second. Talk about <clears> yourselves. <throat> well, I can't hear. Oh. So maybe Nass has some sort of uh, protection over this place. She said that the dragon army doesn't really seem to come out here and bother them in Heart Solo, right? Yeah. She also is trying not to exert her influence too much with her people. So, she'd have to do it all stealthily. But what do I know about her? What she is. Well, if only Ziggy were here, he'd have all the answers, wouldn't he? Yes, and he would probably be eaten because he wouldn't be able to shut up. Um, <laughs> also true. And, yeah, would not have been able to be mum's the word with him. I wonder how, if she would have been just as irritated with uh, Stardust as that uh, Akiri? A A Akaviri? What whatever the name of the one who threw up on us was. I don't know. I wonder if Ness stands for something that just doesn't seem as scary of a name not enough syllables for what she is it, is she meant to be scary i mean she seems like a protector you were scared i did you see how big she was excuse me everything's big to me <laughs> it's not meant to be a slight babe i'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry please forgive You're going to need to tell Levna where we're staying tonight. If she's, you know, not passed out already. Uh, my play on hands only healed her once. Still at the salt lake, though, so she maybe found her way to the, the rooms, right? Or the floor. Oh, okay. Uh... Yes, maybe maybe I'll go tend to her, and uh, hopefully our other party member, uh, Anars, is his name, I believe. Yes. Hell if I know. Oh, okay. Uh, hopefully he's there too. Maybe we can, um, I can gather them, and uh, hopefully get us uh, settled. And if they are not too. Uh, inebriated, maybe, uh, have them ready to, for us to all debrief. You do that. Maybe we should head to Lavenders in the meantime. Alright. Sounds good. <clears throat> and I will head back to the rickety inn tavern to try to find our other two party mates. And find and as our I rooms. do not know where Lavenders is, I'm going to stop the nearest uh, citizen I out. see walk by. <laughs> okay. You know, you were pointing towards it from the classroom when you were brought in. All right. At least I remember. At least you should have. If you'd not. Yeah, I think we saw him it. wander back to like a stall. No, or he was like right? pointing at everything as he he was bringing you guys in. Uh -huh. At least, at least I, that's what I remember as. But you do know Lavenders is jetted off to the side. And even then, Ness kind of looked that way and then said, Freddy. So it's kind of jetted off, kind of like the rock face off the ends, like this uh, circular like dome place. All right, we'll head there. 
Uh, everybody going together? I'm going with Vera. Um, if Lavender's looks like it's on the way to the Salt Lick, then yes, I would be going to Lavender's as well. Finding out what this discount she's talking about might benefit us. Uh, Ishalyn, are you going to? Uh, I was going to I thought Lavender's was further up, so I was going to head to no, the no. Salt Lick. To... If, oh, okay. if, you, if you have the above VTT on, you can see the map. Yeah. Uh, Lavender's is on the way up. Oh, I cannot see the map for whatever. Oh. I'll yeah. uh, I believe in this one, you'll have to right click and drag around because it is a, um, or zoom out and then find it and zoom in. Hmm. Okay. So right click and hold, you can move it around. Yeah. Or plus and minus. Oh, to... it says map could not be loaded. Can that be oh. loaded? Y'all can't see it? Oh, we can. Uh, the first I time can. it did, it told me that too. And then I refreshed and it brought it up like it's supposed to. Yeah, I will. I'll just try to refresh, but. But anyway, uh, if it's on the way up, because I couldn't tell that, I will I will also head with everyone before we head back then. Oh, that's the wrong one. Ah, there we go. Y'all got a sneak peek for the next battle, guys. Don't worry. Uh, welcome in, Rusty. Hope everybody, hope you're doing well. It's been a while. Uh, but yeah, Lavender's is on the way up. I put up the map. Uh, everybody in got chat it. just got a sneak peek at the next battle, possibly. Uh, at least about a land. You don't know what y'all fighting, but. Uh, but yeah, you can see Lavender's. Um, it's like kind of jetted off this wooden dock type arrow right over to this, uh, this what is it, schism crater in the ground. Uh, did y'all give Mela, uh, is anybody on the rewards to give Mela? No, because she had two already, so she gets three advantages. Y'all not updating y'all's rewards. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's kind of like a dock like structure over to the crater in the ground. All the way down, presumably to where Ness's uh, layer is. As you head there, as you get to the door, there's a sign that says open. Good sign? Yeah, seems good. So you all go in. Head inside. Yeah. As you head inside, the back side of the sign says, <sighs> "Customers are here." So the sign forms like these, almost kind of like a face type structure into the sign. And on this side, it is closed because uh, it's obviously on the inside of the door. I'm gonna poke the sign. Hey! That's not nice! Uh, what the? Okay, I just try to inspect it to see, like, if there's any other part of that would resemble a person or creature. So it, it, does it, ha it has a face? Oh. You know, like when something morphs, it gives you like the indent of a face or whatever, and it smooths back out. I think it needs a face. I think I got a pen. What's a pen? Paint, <laughs> Paint tools. I'll check the bag of holding for you. Right around! Spits out a piece of bacon, not a pen. Well, this is the best I can get you right now, I'm afraid. Uh, coming out from the back, 
this uh, older older individual kind of got like almost kind of like a uh, gray and beard and ter- turns into like a uh, what's that type of facial hair? Um, what's it called? Goatee. Goatee. There we go. Uh, tight, like just kind of grayish goatee. He has this like deep lavender uh, cloak on. Yeah, no! You don't need to put my sign with your finger. He is letting me know that you have arrived. What can I do you? Bell would do that too. You can just put a bell on the door and save yourself some magic. The mystique would be lost if I did that. The stake's already lost. What do you have to sell here? I got diamonds. Diamonds are forever, they say. Hmm. Other spell ingredients. Components. Um, did you hear from uh, the mayor that we were coming? But of course, she has special abilities that call in my mind and let me know things. I'm gonna kind of case him with this question and say, um, yeah, that mayor's a real ball of fire, isn't she? Just kind of <laughs> looking to see if he knows. My friend, you have an interesting taste in middle-aged women, if you call her a ball of fire. Ah, well, you know, a traveling adventurer can't be too picky, but I suppose when you're as famous as me, I should raise my standards a little. I'm sorry, sir, what was your name? Ah, my name is Lavender. I passed the test of high sorcery. The girl of these lovish, lavish purple robes when you pass the test. <clears throat> Here they also get black robes. And red. Oh, those are for the sorcerers or magic users who have not yet taken the test of high sorcery, but I have and I have passed. I'm suddenly thinking those tests were not as hard as I thought they were going to be. Our, uh, you want to roll an insight check? <laughs> I, I'm sure, but it's not going to work well with me. Insight, insight. Fifteen. Meets it, beats it. I, as you as you can see that he he is given this grand display and it's like very convincing. But you knowing somebody that was in the process of taking a high sorcery and do know there's something off about what he is talking about the test. Hmm. Anyone need any specific components here? I do have something specific I want, though. I'm going to question the validity of it if it is here now. I do have potions of all types. Have gems. Diamonds, the dwarves, you know, mine these gems and diamonds. I immediately start looking at the diamonds um, to see if there is one that I would know that I need as a spell component. What about uh, rings? I am looking for platinum rings. 
But of course I have. Oh, Mania. Oh, rings. You brings it up, sets on the counter, opens them up. Dashin, give me a perception check. You 18. spot, you spot something mounted on the wall in the case. It's golden. That seems very familiar to you. I'll let him display his wares to the to the current people before I address it. Yeah. But I have platinum rings, gold rings. Do they actually look like they're platinum? Like, are they real? Mm, give an insight check. Oh, God. No, not another. I'm not going to roll higher. Uh, uh, I was just on very... <laughs> they look real to me. Uh, all you can eventually tell that they look very real. You see anything you need, Mila? Um, possibly. Excuse me, sir. Um, how much uh, is this diamond worth? This one is what about three hundred still pieces, but with your discount, I'll let it go for two hundred. Um, what about 150 and a few things that we've picked up in, in the waste? Do uh, you think that could work? Uh, do you want to in a trade? Yes. What do you have to trade? Well, I don't know if you'd be interested in anything um, that we may have picked up from a purple worm at all. You see his eyebrow go. Purple what? You say. I have got a couple of things that we picked up. Do tell, do tell, do tell. Well, I've got. Come on, do keep me in suspense. <laughs> I've got a tooth, um, as well as a vial of venom that we picked up from a purple worm. Either of those. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mela, as you're presenting him, you see this lavender purplish hand comes in, moving in in front of them. <sighs> Magnificent. What else? Uh, tooth and um, some venom. Um, that I think might be all of the purple. Another one starts got, holding it up too. Um, I've also got some stuff from Manticore. Uh, I think they're a bit more common, but you can definitely trade if you want some. At the mention of this, uh, Dashin will chime in to say, um, and if you could tell me how much Manticore's nether regions are worth, we may or may not have a couple of those. You what? I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> we collect like oh. same things. Those is more of the eye of the buyer's worth. If they want such things. Me particularly, not so much. But truly a man of taste. I love taste. I love sweets. You gotta eat sweets. Mm. Let me see. But I got... will take all these purple worm parts because I can probably do some devious experiments. Because you know. All right. I do you think the, the two test of them together? sorcery. It's impressive. 
not an easy feat. Do you think both of these uh, these purple worm parts would be worth 300 steel? Then. I will give you the 300 steel for all these purple worm parts and the metacore pieces as well. All right. Sounds like a deal. And I'll hand him over the venom, uh, the manticore tail spikes that I have, the purple worm tooth, and some lovely, lovely manticore meat that I don't know how long has been in the bag of folding. Oh, I thought you had the spikes. Uh, I thought that's what you were referring to. Yeah. Yeah, tail spikes, and then I have a tooth venom, and then I'll also hand over the manticore meat. Because I don't want that in the bag of holding anymore. <laughs> it starts reeking and smelling because it's been in there for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mind taking that outside, please. Do you have any wands of chain mail for these platinum rings? Uh, what? What are you asking for? Um, trading. Uh, I've got chain mail. Oh, you trying to trade your old chain mill? Mm hmm The kid the size chain mill. Hmm. For platinum, how many rings would you like? I just need two. But of course, the dwarves mine all these type of things. And it come easy, you know? Yeah. I'm about the same size as them, right? To which is odd. He hands you the two rings. Alrighty. They they seem bigger for your small kinder hand size, but if you go to put them on, they magically morph to your hand. See the perfect, perfect size. That works perfectly. Thank you. I do I have potions? Potions. What type of potions do you have? The potions of healing kind. Healing potions? Potions of healing. That's just the proper term. If you pass the Test of high sorcery, you would know this. Unfortunately, I am not magical at all, so. How unfortunate, because you would look like you would be wonderful for the test. Thank you. I don't know how well I do in the, the purple, though. Not exactly my color. We'll bring out the ice. Nonsense. Nonsense. We'll bring out the ice. Um, how many potions could we use, guys? He, he reaches up and puts out, like, almost like a milk crate size of, like, about six of them. Two of us can handle ourselves in that apartment, but... Are you gifted in that way, Alison? No, ma'am, I am not, unfortunately. Did not think so. How about you, Daz? You've been studying with Mela for a bit. Have you picked up on any of that yet? I mean, it uh, never hurts to have a little bit of potions left over in case the unforeseen... Something you can take instead of attacking when you need to yeah yeah that's that's perfect um how much for them they're usually standard 50 steel coins but with your discount 40 steel coins And how much do we have, guys? I know I only have 27. I can get it. Um, I actually don't how many know you how said? much I started 20? with. Yeah, I've got 27 if you need it. I think I'm right. Uh, how much was the potion again? 
Forty. That's still coins. Forty. Right. I'll go ahead and buy that one. And that is with the discount, right? But the goods! Ten still coins off! Just but ten? the goods! We're, we're also getting all this other stuff here. For tread! You tread it for those things. It's the same thing. We still taking things off your hand for other things you can sell, probably for even higher. Or enchant, because I am the wizard of oh, high yes. sorcery. Yes, with your magical powers that I would, I would not even begin to understand how. Do a persuasion check. Twenty-seven. I think my nat one fails, so... <sighs> Fine. Thirty steel... pieces. I can definitely do that. I'll hand him over thirty steel. For one, uh, one potion of healing? I think so. Is that all we wanted? Just one? I also have, he puts on this table, like, it's like a sw swirling green. Drink this one. And you grow to the size of giants if you drink this one. Maybe a giant kinder would be a... a are you, uh, to behold. Are you picking on our side, sir? Not at all. I, I thought this might be useful. Well, now let's hear him out, Vera. Uh, Mr. Lavender, does this but of course. change your whole body to the size, or just a particular part of your body grows much larger? You become... The size of huge proportions for about 24 hours. Huge proportions, Vera. This sounds like it might be a good deal. I think you're the only one obsessed with size, Daz. How about you buy it? How much is this one? Let me see the rarity of it. Oh. portion of this type is so rare. People would say it's a legendary potion. So, 500 steel gold. That's with the discount. 50% off. Do you believe that's too far past our bailiff? And probably anyone here. Are you ever going to be able to sell that to these dwarves? That, you know, you can't get much business in here where they're concerned. They don't exactly like magic. Trust me, we've traveled with several. They didn't like magic, didn't like water, didn't like a whole bunch of things. Cats. But the, I have a business I must maintain, and you know, like I said, the potion, it's legendary. Almost as legendary as that wonderful little golden thing over there. But it is pretty legendary. How about this? You bring me something equal weight. And steal, I will. A, be happy to continue a trade with you. Certainly. I'm but sure of course. we'll be back for more. 
Did you guys need anything else? Well, I did um, want to inquire about that fancy little instrument you have over there. Ah. It's one of my most prized possessions. I'm sure it is. Would you like to take a closer look? Indeed, I would very much like that. I wanted uh, Mage Hands flutes up and takes it off the shelf and kind of holds it in front of you. It's a, clearly in a considerably nice display case. Roll me investigation with advantage. What do you recall of your shaman and what it looks like? Um, by most all accounts, it's uh looks very similar to just the loot in my character art photo, uh, but is of course uh, made of gold. But although the acoustics don't sound like uh, a metal guitar would probably wouldn't sound very well uh this one seems to sound even better because of its uh acoustics so i suppose that's kind of the test i'd like to administer to it is i'd like to to strum it once or twice um well send the display case first so oh well, well uh as you're looking for closer closer you s hint on the bottom something's off about the strumming Hmm. it's like there's something engraved on the bottom but it, it's hard to see and it wasn't you don't recall it being there it seems that uh, you know this uh, very fine beautiful looking instrument but seems to have some defects near the base has uh, it been through some of sort course, of that, what you hold there, Elv, is the most perfect replica of the legendary Strumman. It's a one of a kind. It's not the real <laughs> Strumman because it's the most powerful mythical instrument known throughout these worlds. Well, it has uh, indeed done a very good, good job of making a accurate replica of it. Uh, do you have any idea where the real one may be? Alas, I've been searching for that one for a long, long time. So, if you find it, I'd be happy to pay great money for it. I'm sure that you would. And I do love money, but. Uh... I appreciate you letting me see this. It was a magnificent instrument, be it a replication or not. It still warrants the appreciation of those who can appreciate such a finely crafted thing. But, but he, would, course, uh, he but... would be acting as if he doesn't care anymore or less interested that it's a replica. Although he can't help but admire it a few seconds extra. You know, I had heard that that was lost to the seas long ago. Strange to find it something like this up here. What they do have. What you do have there is still... But oh, I lost a, I lost a voice. <clears throat> Elf, what you do have there is still magical in nature, but it is not the famous loot. I enchanted that myself with the engravings on the bottom that you see. You 
could cast a certain number of spells from that replica. Well, just in the sake of curiosity, what uh, what are you asking for such a such a fantastic replica? How much you're willing to part with? I could perhaps put that out unknown for you. Trying to see where I might find my steel. It's in your inventory, top left. And, and in this game, oh. the steel is just gold pieces, basically. Right. Which makes currency really totally easy in this world. Everything's just steel coins, and it's equivalent to a gold coin. Well, I have about um, 200 steel myself, but uh, I can't Sold. fathom that that comes close. Oh. I have 199, so I'm going to use my distort value to make it 200. Well, I mean, it's a pile of coins. You can just kind of throw it under and make it look like that. And uh, as the hands take it out of the case and hands it to you, you can add one DOS loot to your inventory. D-O-S-S -S loot. And he'll explain to you that you can, you can cast, you can make animals be more friendly with you. You can have protection of fire energy. And protection of poison. I know you're not magical, Alison, but was there anything you or Levna were looking for, perchance? No, I mean, I think just the healing in case anything happens but we we've we've come fairly uh well somewhat equipped i guess and i i can't use magic so um yeah if you stand behind me you won't need healing okay good to know you know this place is wonderful. Wonderful, like I say. Uh, welcome back any time. Yep, I'm sure we'll be coming back for that uh, blue pill potion of yours. Blue pill potion? Hmm. Was that all you needed, Ashton? Hmm. I think I might... Uh, you renamed that to Blue Pill Potion. I like it. I mean, I didn't say that I needed it. I was just curious about having it in case I wanted it. Or in case someone else wanted it. If you catch my drift. What will we need it for? Yes, Dashin. Explain to the child. I, I, I am of age. I just, you know, I just, you know. And if you want any more diamonds, the dwarves will probably mine more by... That's weak sometime. That's good to know. Hopefully we Stay. won't be stuck here that, that long. Always come visit. As I thought. 
You don't get much business. You're quite lonely, aren't you? A wizard of high sorcery is never you, lonely. If you draw a face on your sign, you won't look as crazy as you're going to look just talking to it normally. Please do not disface Stuart. Stuart is wonderful. Stuart. Stuart. With the D. Stuart. Right. Oh, you've been... Yes, I am wonderful. Did right you just say wonderful? Is that is that what your what your door said? He's wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. All right. You've been very helpful. That's all we need. Um, we're going to be on our way now. Thanks for um. And being a friend of Nessus, I would like to give you this. Spell scroll. Yeah. As a complimentary to you. Oh, thank you. What do I have? You have to make an arcana check to figure that one out. Oh God. But it's, it's rolled up, so you you're gonna try to figure it out there. Mm. Nah, nah. Oh wait. Okay. Hmm. Thank you very much. Um, we'll be on our way then. But of course, uh, come back any time. Right, right. I'm gonna start chewing up the rest of them out. Get out, get out, get out. Shoot, shoot. Let's go. You know! And, and you, as you start walking. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I should have rehearsed that voice a little bit more. <clears throat> I uh, don't think I like the color purple anymore. What's wrong with the movie? Sure. This is quite the character. Nah, he's sweet. Just full of it. Hopefully, um, that diamond was what you needed, Mela. Yes, though I hope I never have to use it. But good to have handy. For any more accidents. Right. Right. What kind of day is it now? I thought we got here around mid-morning, but it's difficult to keep track of time when you're in a volcano. Is that what they call this? I think I read that once. Hmm. Shall we head back to the Salt Lake then? Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. As you start walking back to the Salt Lake, I think it's about time to take our break, shall we? As we start heading back up the the uh, Mosaic Trail, uh, headed back to Salt Lake, we'll pick up there on when we come back. So we'll take about a tenner and we'll be right back, guys. Enjoy some clips. And welcome back. We're back from our break. Uh, and y'all heading to... I want to know what you're doing with the 5.5e switch, Jugen. What you're going, what you're doing with the 5.5e switch? What do you mean a 5.5e switch? We're in five. Oh, you're talking about the 2024. Uh, we'll probably finish the current campaigns that we have going with what we've already done, and then uh, um, any new campaigns, I'll go to the new one because I have already pre-ordered the books. So everybody's giving me shit for doing it. I was like, I have the money. Might as well just pre-order it now and call it a day. You know, whatever. Everybody's giving me crap about it. But anyway, welcome back, guys. 
Uh, as you leaving La uh, Lavenders, heading back to Salt Lake, what would you like to do? I'm just curious with D and D Beyond. I mean, that's what I use D and D Beyond. I assume you're already well equipped to listen, right? So you don't need more sword, shield. I'm good right now, but thank you. I don't know about the other elf that um disappeared on us, but yeah. Oh yeah, Hi. you you definitely saw a very fancy dual bladed type um trident that looked very fancy so you get the feeling that he's well equipped himself yeah we'll head back to the salt lake for now um we do need to secure food and water for the the journey ahead although i can just make food and water. I don't know how well Dastion's going to like it. I think we've also got a decanter of endless water in the bag of holding, so... We, we do. I think we're good on water. I remember when you got that. That was outside of the freaking massive fort that I had to build. That was not fun. <laughs> All right, we'll head to the Salt Lake for... Did we need to rest for the night, guys? It's probably about late afternoon now, getting on into dinner. Well, I am very eager to show off my new instrument, especially in front of a adoring fans that may already remember my name from my earlier concert. I have lost Don't upset Astrid's Ness again. Tonight. So don't upset Ness again with your song. You gotta do better. Well, how about you do the singing for me this time, Vera? That'll keep my mouth shut. Do I have to? You are so class in Debard now. Yeah, but I and have he was another... teaching you. I have another window open in the Zoom and had a meeting on my phone though and all my songs on my phone. No, I mean oh, you yeah. can you can minimize that and it's still there. That's a good yeah. testing. Oh. Ah. Hmm. You wanted me to fix your song from before that you cut short? Is that what I'm hearing? He's going to kind of bend down as if he's not whispering, but definitely talking in a hushed tone to say, um, see, the thing is, when you're telling a story, it's generally good for elaboration, a little exaggeration in some cases. The fans don't know the difference, and who's to say it didn't go that way anyways? Right, right. These poor slobs live in a hole in the ground in the bloody desert. I'm sure they'd love an opportunity to think about dragons and riches and gold everywhere. Steel, excuse me. Well, maybe not this crowd. I guess they do a lot of mining here. But you know what I mean. Lands afar and... Damsels in distress, all those sort of things. Evil wizards. You're not really convincing me here. I think they've already plied themselves with so much alcohol, they don't need to hear me singing. Is Lug, uh, can we see Lev now? Is she drunk off her ass? She's there. She's at the bar. Hmm. 
You see, uh, I mean, yeah, you see her, but you don't see the other one. Is Bob the gnome in there? I thought it was Rumple Thumple Bump. I'm pretty certain that word never came out of your mouth last week. <laughs> I like that so much better than Bob, but I am pretty sure it was Bob. Bob was his first name. Bob. Bob Thumple, Thumple, Thumple. Oh, Bob Rumple Thumple Dump. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mr. Dump, sir, are you still here? He's back up playing his little fiddle. Hmm. Yeah, that's what you hear in the background. And now I've got a gold fiddle, a bit of fiddle of gold. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to get my. I will sing for you if you can go land Levna. Oh, that's I not guess. even going to be hard. Oh, but then he's going to remember that Ellison is... Sorry. He's going to stop awkwardly and look at Ellison. Uh, mm, all right. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Ellison, my good friend, tell me more about this mistress that you serve. What sort of things does she like? What does she seek in a man? Oof. I, I, I don't know. Uh, well, she's always telling me that, Ellison, you know, you're too slow. Ellison, stand up straight. Ellison, you need to read more and study more. And Ellison, stop crying. You know, um, I, I, I don't. I so I. She's telling me things that I need to work on and improve. I don't know if that's ultimately what she wants or desires. Maybe for me, it's that she envisions me a a potential knight if I can, uh, you know, reduce these rather poor qualities, I guess. I don't know. Does that help you at all? I suppose that all details are helpful in their own way. Now, that's a good lad. Appreciate you telling me. Let us go drink the evening away. Oh, boy. So y'all, so you're not going up there perform with uh, Vera? We're not yet. We kind of have a side bet going on. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. We'll let Bob Rumple Dumple Thump handle it for now. <laughs> All right. Uh, where is everybody doing? So, Vera, Dash, and have some side bet, I guess, with Levna. Yeah. You're asking about Levna. What's Mela doing in this moment? Um, just walking behind the group a little bit. Um, and just sort of keeping an eye out. She's just, you know, they've been in the waste for a while. So she doesn't want to let her guard down just because they're in a place called Hearts Hollow. Just keep an eye out for people as they walk. And also looking for... Um, Alaren. Since he's MIA at the moment. Mm. But I thought you I thought everybody's back at the Salt Lake. Are we still walking there? Or... No, you should yeah, be already know. there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just be chilling with the group then. Um, keep it still keeping an eye out for for anything out of the ordinary. Levna is at leaning against. <sighs> Ah, ah, welcome back. This thing is, uh, has not got enough. Here you go. Yeah, I think who had it was Mela. You had it? Yeah. Here you go, Mela. Take it back. Thank you. What's the, 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 the,
So what did you just learn? What did you learn? Nothing? That was a wonderful talk then. Mm. We went to get some supplies. Yes. Oh, very, very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> I just want to put in the L here, but it, uh, it is uh, very, very lovely. Elish. To be a weather night, you must drink amounts of alcohol to dull the pain of fighting and battles and still be standing on your two feet after you drink. So drink. She shows one in your face. Uh, yes, yes, Dame. And I just kind of glance over at And she, looks, and she does and what she did before, tips the <laughs> bottle to your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Dame Vera, how did, how did, how did, how did he do? He did well. Thank you. And I give her a bow. What is on the agenda to tonight? I say we haul up in my lats and Enjoy the spoils of our lives. And killing that people. We do. Up. Yeah, we do need to rest after that. As I imagine, we've got a long journey ahead. All right. Um, what about everybody else? What are y'all doing? Um, Daz is probably flaunting his, uh, Strumman replica and, but up on the bar, like I would say it's set on the, on the bar in front of him. And that's really got a majority of his attention at this time. Like as the sun's beginning to set, he knows the evening is about to take over. But for these first few moments, he's kind of processing and rethinking you know for a minute there he kind of forgot about the strumming altogether and so he's kind of taken like a 15 minute recalibration period so that's unfortunately what i'm doing at the moment is standing at the bar and just kind of admiring and considering and reflecting on on these things the barkeep hands each of y'all a key to your own separate rooms. And Mayor Ness uh, has given you all rooms for tonight. You can head off when you like do over there. Points over there to one of the long hallways. Uh, I will stop um, Ledia's key from getting to her and slide it back to the barkeep. And then give Ledio a wink. Levna. 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 Persuasion check with advantage. That's when I roll natural 20. Yeah. I was tempted to cast command. I'll just sit back and watch. What is her stats? Charisma is a two. So even with my natural 20, which would be a 22, you still beat it with a 24. Damn. I don't think I've ever been with an elf before. I see elf at that. The geek can handle me. That depends on how much you like. God, I'm not going to say it. I wanted to say 
make a semen joke because a sea man, but it would have been too vulgar. I don't think she would know what a semen is, though. <laughs> mm. uh, well, there has not been uh, many a conquest that I have not been up to at least the undertaking of. Whether or not I'm up to the challenge, well, that remains to be seen. I have one question, no question. The longest time you only had eyes for Viva here. Why now me instead? I told him I like girls. Oh, Viva, I like girls as well. You're too big for me. But you're fun. Are you size. talking to me or her? Both of you, if you're interested. At that mention, I signal the barkeep to give me another alcohol. That's it. You're loading. Well, uh, my young, my protege, it seems like tonight could be a night of much experience for you. You, you cheated somehow. Fine. I'm going to go over to uh the fiddler are you joining for this song at all is your friend over there got there too oh wait hold on <clears throat> your... oh hold on we're getting raid we're getting raid sargana is raiding us with five welcome in sargana how are y'all doing gotta get a shout out for sargana please stream you know doing dungeons and dragons as usual looks like they work how you doing sargana welcome in if uh we all welcome in we're a primary uh done D, D stream we're in the middle of some questionable acts in the middle of this tavern here at the salt lake in Dragonlance. so uh yeah let's see how this goes welcome in how was your stream Wonderful. Let's see. Where did I get the known voice? Why, certainly. Um, long as your elf and doesn't insult my music again. No, my good friend, I apologize for that earlier. My mood has been greatly uplifted. You are a very talented fiddler, one of the best I've ever heard. Would be honored if you would join us in this performance. I'm assuming that's a deception check. It can be. Doesn't matter. I rolled a natural three for insight. So I think even if you rolled the one, I think you would beat it. So. Yeah, I'm a plus six. Oh, yeah, you would push. definitely beat him. Nah, I wasted one. Oh, no, you were on <laughs> high tonight. Yes. Guess you can always trust enough, right? That sure. is what they say. Just let me know the tone. As he goes back to his fiddle. Mm -hmm. Go back to uh he he had the tone before. I'm just going to fix his song that he started last time for you. Are you actually fine on the same? Whoa, Sargetta! Gifted out three gifted subs. I like how your Starbot got it. <laughs> Sargetta, if you gifted out five, they would have got a magical item. But since you gifted out three, they get three potions of greater healing. Hey, let's write that down. Got it. So, Melee, while you're by the bar. Uh, give me dexterity saving throws. Oh, great. Give me three of them. They're gonna, they're gonna all be on the ground, and broken. Thank you, Stargana, for the three gifted subs. Who got them? 
I know Starbot got one. Uh, Baya one. 1837 got one. And... That's me. <laughs> oh, that's you? Yeah. <laughs> Are you following? Yeah, I'm following. But remember okay. how I uh, like forgot to Mick follow and, our, our end? Mick, uh, Markov. <laughs> I want them both. This group more. Well, we had a kinder and they left. Yeah. Uh, what did you get for your saves? Uh, I did three, but only two are popping up. Um, four, and twenty, and. Thank you, Sargina, for uh, give me another dexterity saving throw for the gift of sub to Shilder Morris. Nine. So, um, you have a shield, right? You're kind of holding your shield. And the first one you catch pop out because he's been doing this. You've seen, you've seen uh, Carrie have to do this from time to time. You catch the first one, but now your hands are tied up. The other three go, and then uh, uh, uh how you say, Elishin, Elishin. Ellison, yeah. Ellison, give me one. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Dexterity describe saving exactly. throw. Yeah, I'll describe this as this happens. Uh -oh. Eleven. Oh, that's not enough. It was only ten. So hey. It pops up. You see, with almost kind of lightning speed. Even though she's very tipsy. Choo, choo. Levin to catch the other two, and then she's like, fuck. She says, Ellison, catch that one. And you, as you're drinking, you're like, just barely catch it right before it hits the floor. Oh. But you spill a little bit of uh, your ale on the floor as you die for it. Oh. I saved the potion. Potions of healing, right? Greater healing, right? Greater? Potions of greater healing. So you just got four of them. But if she did get to that five, y'all got a magical item. <laughs> All right. Uh, Vera and Dastion, what are you doing? Actually, no, Ellison, we need, to, we need to do this. This is the first time you've seen stuff pop out of the bag of holding like that. Okay. Oh, yeah, because they just kind of burst out. Yeah, there. they kind of just I burst know. out. Okay, so... I'm just I'm just trying to tally, keep tally right now. Voices. Uh, random journeys down, dark alleys to meet some people and now stuff just flies out at you when you need it from this special backpack this is Raitaru he is our bag of holding and he likes to randomly spew things at us yes um, so if that, the rod yeah, asshole he just... is um uh, uh, is this another door thing where, like, it'll have a mouth and talk to us? Um, he'll only talk to you if you are holding him. Um, otherwise you won't be able to hear him. No. Okay. I is he nice? I think so. Um, although he can be a little bit of, um, a scaredy cat sometimes. Uh, he refused to put something um, that we were trying to save into himself. Um, but to be fair, it was a very dangerous situation. Okay. okay. But it might have been just too too big for him to carry, but 
I don't know. I wasn't holding him at the time. Fair, fair enough. Talking bag. Got it. Do you want to hear him? <laughs> oh, I, I think I'm, I'm good for now, but, but thank you. Thank you. Right, fair enough. It's been a busy day. <laughs> You're me, Jigen. <laughs> Dash and Vera, y'all started your song yet? Yeah, we we can start our song. I'm gonna fix Dashton's old song for us. Probably a good opener to our readers too to hear the Fearless Few song. Anyone want to clap for me? Um, we are the fearless few, a pint of air to see what we do. We sell giant worms and we free the weak when danger is, you know who to see. We stand at speaking of night, guiding our souls toward mystical's light. With hearts unyielding and spirits full, the fearless few forever told. Near and far, the rumors are out. No adventures ever in doubt. I'm picking way too fast. Now pick your poison and stomp on the ground. We'll tell our tale in this little town. We are the fearless few. You'll never guess what we will do. From chill breaking pups to walking on water, we might be the first to chant talk to slaughter. This is really long, I wrote. <laughs> When all hope is lost for you, there's only one thing left to do. Count the cement core balls and more. Chop to your knees and pray Count on the, the fly. Balls. Pray. Fly to a dragon, pick up your sword. Fireballs away atop the horde. Mock the siren, make her laugh, and show them what's a real bloodbath. Heed the call, raise the shield wall, hold the line no matter who falls. Blow your eyes out, don't know what to do. That's what it means to be the fear of you. Uh-oh, <laughs> your, your camera got disconnected. Oh, no! See, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, that was awesome. Hold up. Work, yeah. Pause the game, you guys. <laughs> because, damn. Oh, that's why I get Zoom back. That uh, was you, awesome. should send me, you should send me those lyrics, and maybe we'll get a new intro song with the video. The first half are all uh, Dastion. Yeah, Silver. Uh, it got messed up. We're fixing it. I'm, I'm getting back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Two, join, join, two. join. Here we go. That was so bad. That was so bad. That was so bad. That was That's super echo. All right, we fixed it. Still hearing an echo though. Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah, send me those lyrics and I'll update the intro song with that. Do like all the rest of my campaigns. I wasn't going to touch this because we're so far along in, but since you made one for the feelers for you, we can definitely update the song. Uh, alrighty. Uh,. I will give y'all automatic success as the crowd goes down. Uh, it's not like what I used to, but the, it, it's got a catchy tune. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Question, who is the fearless few? And why are you talking about them so much? That would be us. And I believe the song said a pint of ale to see what we do. So bring forth the ale and bring forth your questions. Possibly one night only, we are here to entertain. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, Levin is like, That's right! The fearless few! And she looks at Vera and Ashton. We're like, Gives a like little wink. I'm gonna hold up my key. Then I'll finish uh, whatever ale. Very give me a Christmas saving throw. Oh 
that. Wait, you're asking me mm. for that. That's a, yeah. not with my plus. Your what? Eight. My plus 13? Whoa, what? My you have a plus 13? I have a plus 13. Sure, so 28. <laughs> the one skill you don't want to be asking me. Oh, it was a saving throw I asked for, didn't I? Just give sure. me a charisma check. Where's your charisma check? So you're 15 mm. plus your modifier. Wouldn't be a saving throw. I don't know why I said that. It's a plus five. Just plus five, so that'd be 20. Mm hmm. Oh, she got a 21. You look at her, and you never felt so. Actually, you probably never had really anybody look at you that way. I and have, has... if you've read my backstory. Well, in this newfound way, I guess, from a human. <laughs> I have only known her for a day. I'm still going to hold up to my key. She is very charming, though. And now, for the first time ever, I bring to you my new song called Make It Three. And I'm going to look at Vera. <laughs> Am I going to have to follow up the next one with Little Blue Pale Potion? <laughs> Are you doing one? But no, I'm. I, I don't think it would be wise. Why not? Ellison has not heard you sing yet either. <laughs> I have not. I thought I sang last night, last week. Oh, yeah, you you did the first. Yeah, the same the song. First, yeah. yeah. Oh. The first, the first few lines, anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, now I remember. Uh, I I would love to do one. I will have more stuff prepared for another time. Oh. I can try and rift off the head, but I think it's going to be crap. <laughs> it's the only thing I'm saying. Maybe you could say, it takes three. Yeah. All Working right, progress. Right. We'll, we'll wing one. Fine. <laughs> we'll wing one <laughs> The desert air is really cold, so to find at night someone to hold. But just having one is not as fun. To get with me, you should make it three. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> That's all I'm going to be able to put out. This is pretty decent. Is incredible. <laughs> If I could give any more inspiration out, I would give it. As the night winds down, is there anything else you want to, you guys want to accomplish? Uh, so long as I have something that I can manu manipulate into being a small drum, and I don't mean like a wrap around my waist drum, but more just like a bongo out of the cloth with the symbol on it uh, of Mishical. You're gonna ask. Uh, you're gonna ask uh, Bob. Okay, yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm guessing like that. And a half hour more has gone by. Everybody's getting a little sloshed. Mm -hmm. um, Say, so, well, my good friend, Mister Rumple Humple Dump. I was curious how many old instruments you may have. Some perhaps that you were willing to throw out. See, I've traveled but nothing more than a lute and a flute for quite some time, and the sounds of other instruments have grown forgotten on my ears. Anything in particular you would like? 
Well, I've been having an idea for a drum of sorts, you know, and instead of having to clap, as when my protege there was performing, I would like to be able to give the proper bass tones into the music. I have, I have, uh, I have one that I dropped it on the rats out in the place, and it's been damaged ever since, so I can didn't never have to stuff to fix it. But you're more than welcome to it with that lovely song that y'all did, because it's very catchy. Maybe it would be a nice addition to your song. Ah, uh, my friend, one day I shall put you into one of my songs. It has been a pleasure please meeting don't, you. And please don't. You. Please don't. After, after that last song, please don't. Please don't. So you can add like one broken drum to your other's inventory or whatever. As the night fades into the evening, or fa evening fades into night, um, Levna comes lots up to Vera and Destin. You ready to have a, a night of pleasure and forget this wasteful land and enjoy the pleasures of our companies? I'm sure Daz is more than ready for you. But of yes, course, I will I'm have to take a pass. Always ready, fearless. In fact, a little bit, pretty drunk. I'm sorry. I will have to take a pass. Persuasion check on you. Me a persuasion? She's trying to persuade you. Sure, ah. a four team to persuade you. And what do you want me to roll? Just a regular uh, charisma check. I don't know. Insight won't really work for it, but. Charisma check, 21. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. You, you are lovely, um, but there's someone I still have uh, in my heart right now. Who is that to tell? No one that we need to be speaking of uh, indoors in here. You go enjoy yourself. I don't need to spoil it. So um, I am going to Dash, give, give me a, a constitution saving throw with disadvantage. I am going to give a sidelong glance to the boots I'm wearing with this thought in mind. <laughs> As you go like, oh yeah, you pass the fuck out. Vera, one moment. Let's get drunken into the room. And she takes you and touch you into the bed. Vera, we could talk in your room then? Since... I think you had a lot to drink too. I... Very good. Very good question. Partly disadvantage. I have, but uh, I, I am strong. I very much would like to know who is on your mind. It's all right. Maybe another time. Well, now my key is no longer. I don't have a key anymore. I have to find somewhere to sleep then. <laughs> I'm sure you can stay here. In your room? Sweet. 
Uh, Mela and Ellison. I'm going to make a bedroll on the floor, by the way. If we were staying up late, I have and still trying to drink, I've probably passed out no matter how many constitution saves I've made. Well, give me constitution saving throw with advantage. With oh, advantage? with disav disadvantage, I'm sorry. All right. Two. <laughs> oh, that's charisma save. What the hell? Oh, that's eighteen. <laughs> Okay. Cause she didn't roll very high. As you as you went to bed early, you feel somebody now laying in bed with you. <laughs> Mela, what about you? Um after the first song of the Fearless Few, uh, Mela probably just went up to the room and just sort of had an early evening. Um, and what I'd like to do is actually pull out the Warhammer that is in the Bag of Holding, which I think was Bellrooms. Um, I think. Was it Battle Axe? Hang on, let me look. No, that one's you gone. Gotta, uh yeah, the ads he was buried with them or given to Cudgel. Right, right, right. I do think he had a Warhammer on his general. He did have, yeah, he had a w regular Warhammer. I don't think it was not magical or anything. Not magical, so it's still pretty big, right? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> After saying it's not magical, uh, I'll just put it back in the bag of holding. Um, and just spend a little bit more time going through everything that's in the bag of holding since she just really got it that morning um and sort of looking through everything and then gets an early night she'll just go to bed early pretty boring um ellison as you look over Can I do I hmm? what what do I I look over and what <laughs> you see this fancy barmaid that was there in your drunken state or your drinking a forced to didn't realize she was checking you out the whole time. And now, I, I'm, i like, coming to, or, like... Like, you were woken up by this. Yeah. And I just... Um... Hello. <laughs> Hi! How are you? Um, confused... Um, As you should be. <laughs> Am I dreaming? This is what happens when you drink? As this individual shifts into you probably may or may not have seen them. The silver massive Draconians. Come. We're waiting. Who? Does Do a have... 24 hit you? Oh, yeah. You take 11 points of piercing damage. Oh. And two points of poison damage. Poison? Yeah, 
and leaves the room as you're sitting there. Give me another constitution saving throw with disadvantage. Wait, was I just like, like woken up rudely and stabbed? <laughs> 12. Yeah. Yeah, the the poison from the dagger that stabbed you. You're like frozen stiff and you cannot oh. move. Oh like it paralyzed you. Oh great. And she leaves the room as it morphs back into her form and leaves. Dash. Uh Vera, at some point after you pass out. Uh, Dashin, Levna comes to your room and tries to wake you up. So give me a, a constitution saving throw with the vintage. Nineteen. She wakes you up, and we'll just have a fade to black. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to describe that. <laughs> At some point, you pass out, and then she goes back into Vera's room, lays on the floor, and like nothing ever happened. I feel like I was used. How long am I paralyzed for, by the way, Jigen? To the next morning. Oh, what? <laughs> As the morning comes, y'all wake up, y'all gonna have a long rest. It's so all that damage you had just taken, insulin. Uh, you keep it all. But you're yeah. paralyzed to the next morning. And you pass the foot back out and get your long rest. Okay. So you come out, and there is a nice little breakfast bar. Or what's it called? Buffet. There you go. Breakfast buffet. Laid out and spread. You can have a chat for the morning before you head out. And since it's 10, 15, we'll, whatever you want to chat about will be the end. Before we end tonight. Um, just so I'm understanding this correctly, uh, Ragaroo and a bag of holding both, if, if I were to put food in there, does it age still or, or is it essentially preserved for a reasonable amount of time? Yeah, it has to be dried and cured. Mm, not a meat per se, but like if I were to put pastries that might be on the breakfast but they will they would they would last a certain amount maybe four or five days kind of thing kind of thing it, it doesn't stop anything from aging but it's also not in a bag in the heat of the desert it's true okay 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 so so in a sense that would be like normal aging versus quickly aging in the desert or wastelands. Gotcha. Then, uh, yeah, I'm trying to... Anything that I particularly find tasty on this breakfast menu, uh, buffet, I'm kind of pocketing a few and shoving some up my sleeves to later put into Ragaroo if I get the opportunity. And you, as you're you know doing that, Ness walks up with, like, Almost like a, almost kind of like a pit in a basket for you guys to take with you, and she sees your pocket. So you don't want the pit in the basket? Oh no, we'll we'll take that. I I don't I don't know what the hell he's doing, but uh, we could have just asked for some extra rations. But that that was very thoughtful of you, Ness. We'll definitely accept that. So it gives you a clue of like ten more rations. For simplicity purposes, you can flavor them how you want. Like, 
muffins and basically medieval versions of scones, you know, type still type stuff. Medieval versions of scones. Uh, Junior, I am freaked out from the night's event, so I'm eagerly scanning. Give wisdom save me throw. A wisdom what? Oh, not good. Seven. There is a painful scar in your chest, but you cannot for the life of you remember how you got it. Oh, I, I don't remember anything. Yeah. Okay. Oh. But you, it, just, it, I can... you, you, you remember the words? Come but, you, yeah, or... but you don't know who said it and how you got the damage. Okay. But there's like a visible scar now that mm -hmm. wasn't there. You woke before. up too, yep. Okay. Okay. I, I understand now. Mm -hmm. All right. How did everyone sleep? Really good. What about you? I uh, um, didn't do much sleeping if you catch my drift. <sighs> you passed out in the hallway. I don't think you remember. Was that Ness or? No, that was Levna. Okay. How about you, Wilson? You sleep well? I'm, I'm really sore right now. Is anyone else really sore? Like, maybe all the the, the head talking kind of moved like into my chest you, here. Did you fall off the bed? No, I don't think so. Well, I, I have a weird marking there now that I don't remember. I. It's been a long, it was a long journey down here, maybe. I don't know. I'm just, just did not feel, I don't know. I, I guess I didn't get as much sleep as I wished. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'll be, I'll be more alert. I'll be more focused. Do you want me to check it out for you, Allison? Make sure everything's okay? Oh, uh, you know, I, I think, I think if we just, you know, get moving out. I'll, I'll, I might be able to shake it off a little bit there, but, um. If, it, if it's uh, slowing me down or bothering me some more, I, I will definitely uh, require your, I'll inquire about your healing aids. Um, what kind of mark was it, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, it's just this, you know, like, the long, like, horizontal, like, cut, like, across <laughs> this way. But, I... I don't know. I mean, maybe uh, maybe all the hiking and uh, carrying all the all the gear yesterday just kind of wore in a little bit more than I thought. Give me an Arcana check, Mela, if you're looking at it. There's a six. <laughs> As you're looking at it, you can see like these green veins from coming from the wound, kind of slowly spreading. That's about it. Does this wound look familiar? It does not look familiar with that roll. But it's not an open wound anymore. It's like a scar. It's not an open wound, but it's definitely something that was there. Mm. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. Well, if you're sure it's okay, it doesn't look quite right. Vera... Do you know what the... Does this look alright to you? Not to me. Uh, I'm no expert on men and their marks that they have after a night's sleep. So, um, I, I don't need to look at that. If it's not affecting his, um, fighting potential, then it's fine. No, it's just, right. just a little sore. I still, I can still move my arm. I can still swing. I can still carry stuff, so... Yeah, it. I, I'm sorry for even 
bring it up. It's it, it's really nothing. It's, it's nothing. Don't apologize. We want to make sure everyone's, you know, strong and well before we go back into the waste. That's that is for sure. Do we need to um, tell Derrida and them first before we head off? Do we know? Yeah, did Anaris ever come back? And Anaris, yeah. I would like to comment something to Ness before departing too. Is, uh, is Anaris with us? You don't see Anaris. He's gonna be like... Uh-oh. Hmm. Did anyone see Anaris come back last night? Uh, Nessu said... Uh, uh, he got up early this... Oh, hold on. We forgot. He got up early this morning and said he'll meet you on the road outside the Hot Hollow. He didn't just stick around too long for some reason. He said something about scouting the road ahead. Okay. Did we need to tell Derrett and them where we were headed next? I'm sure... Didn't we already tell them that we were headed to meet with Dalmar? I can't remember. Uh, I don't think you did. No. Hmm... Do they have the other far gap? I thought it Yeah, they do. Far gap. Uh, they do. The army have the other far gap. Mela has a f your far gap. Yeah, we didn't use it with Ishran. Um, you cast uh, like Nothing sending sure. with uh, yeah. Ishran. Okay, so we do have means to contact them to tell them where we're going. Well, then I wouldn't worry about it to wake up anyone. In case they're not up and going. Um, so yeah, we should just go meet up with uh, whatever that elf's name was again. Um, and head on our uh, way to where Delamar had us going. Waking Red? Sounds like a plan. As you exit Heart's Hollow. Your pledging trees and everything that was given. New taskings that were offered and asked for aid. As you head up out back to the surface. I think Das wanted to say something to Ness first, didn't you? That's fine. Oh. I will convert it to the party and it'll be a good way to catch Anaris in on what we missed. I'll use it like to kind of in party conversation. Oh, what'd you want to ask her? I'm sorry. I totally forgot. No, it's all good. I'll, I'll do I'll, I'll just ask. You muted yourself. Oh, yeah. I will just ask the party directly. Um, start a next session. Okay. And it'll also kind of fill in ours. As we're them. leaving, I am going to nab one of the rocks from that stupid rock pile that we <laughs> filled up, but I'm taking one instead of giving one. But that's all I want to do. You can continue. Any particular color that you're trying to snag? Yellow. Since both Levna and Alison put a yellow one down. Okay. As you get back on the path, headed out of Heart's Hollow, you see something off in the distance, and you see Ellison kind of looking at it and pondering for a second off in the distance. Should have, probably should have left it up if I was going to do this. I should. I'll save it for this time. You see some ruins and some arch, like an archway. And you see a sigil that's glowing as the rots are floating up midair. 
are you approaching? I pointed out, I was like, does that happen often too? Uh, no. So even by mm. your guys' standards, that is bizarre and new. Yeah, and normally Carrie would probably go check it out first for us, or uh, Ziggy would send Stardust, but I guess we don't have either of that now. Um, but you see Elishin over there. Up ahead, as he's scouting. Yes! You know, you yes. Know ours? Send him a message. See, see, see what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> As you, you can think about your message and have it next time on the next exciting episode of Dragonlance. Because it is close, it is pretty much 1030, so we're definitely not getting any kind of craziness right now. Um, uh, we are now on bi-weekly, guys, since I am transitioning to nights. I didn't get any words today of uh, me going to days. I was trying to, but I didn't get any words, so... We'll be bi-weekly, so we'll be not back next week, but the week after for Dragonlance. Because I am now bi-weekly, and my way my schedule works, I have the opposite days off every week. Um, that's how it works, and now I'm on nights, so my nights are now taken by work. So, that being said, uh, if you're just watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part of this session was. If you want to catch us live, the links are also down for Twitch down in the comments. Join our Discord. We have a lovely community, and uh, every now and then we have some giveaways. I didn't do one this month, but probably will be one next month. I'll decide what I want to do. And uh, we do have a charity event coming up in October, so we're in the middle of prepping for. We have two fine uh, lady and gentlemen that's going to be in it, which is Cleansing Rain playing Destin. You can go ahead and Give me any last shout outs while I look for somebody to read. Uh, yeah, playing Dashjin here, and uh, you'll see the other character there. Uh, participated in it last year, had a lot of fun, and looking forward to, uh, to that charity event as well. Um, and boy, that is just around the corner. This year has gone by so fast. Um, yeah, cool to have the Strumman back in my possession tonight. Even though it's not the real one, but right, right. Uh, Nihilish. Also going to be in that charity stream as mentioned. Um, uh, I have two things I gotta fix on that cosplay still. <laughs> not that I'm going to be recognizable at all with the mask I'm wearing, but that's okay. Look forward to it. Uh, bookworm. Yeah, I um, am not a part of the charity stream, even though it is super fun. I watched it last year. Be sure to watch it this year. It's going to be awesome. Um, but I am part of the Black Order uh, campaign with Jugen and Sindao. Um, so make sure I think we're going to start filming that again, hopefully this week. <laughs> if not, we'll figure it out. It is what it is. So yeah, check us out. It's going to be fun. And... Send out. Yep. Yeah, just playing this uh apparently really stupid fighter who I guess is just the human version of my other character in Black Order because <laughs> he's also like I think he has an intelligence of four. I haven't opened up that character sheet in a while, but yeah. It's pretty um, low. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But I'm looking forward uh to getting back to that as well. Looking forward to the charity stream. Um, I'm not part of that, but I can't wait to watch it this year as well. All right. And that being said, see you uh, Sunday night uh, for Order to Goblet for some more D&D stuff. I'm feeling froggy because I got to be up all night. I might be back live here in a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I have to decide. Thank you guys for hanging out. We love you very much. And we're going to raid into the mind's eye. We never raided in, the, in them before because they're never live when we raided out. And they're also doing some Dungeons and Dragons. It looks like they're doing Dragons of Stormbreak Island. So uh, we'll tune in an episode. Show us some love. Uh, let's see. I have. Actually, I have them. There's our raid free ones. And here's our uh, ones if you're a subscriber. So 
Make sure you use those and show them how much we love them. And have a wonderful night, guys. Feel it burn.